Welcome to Auto Exclusive and another one of our exciting head-to-head -head videos. Today, we're pitting two of the most popular SUVs on the market against each other, the Toyota RAV4 and the Honda CRV, to see which one is the best SUV for seniors. Which one will win? Let's find out. The first category on our list is the exterior category, and we'll start with the CRV. The Honda CRV was fully redesigned for the 2023 model year, and there's no question, it's a great looking SUV, achieving a rare balance between refinement and sportiness. While the RAV4 was last fully redesigned back in 2019 and is also a great looking SUV, which is in part why it's the best selling SUV on the market. However, it doesn't go for the refined look that the CRV goes for, and instead, aims for a more bold, rugged look. The appearance of each vehicle has its own merits, and there's no doubt that Honda is taking some design cues from the look of the RAV4 instead of the other way around, but the CRV does offer one thing that may appeal to seniors that the RAV4 does not, and that's a capless fuel tank which is appealing to seniors with reduced hand strength. This is a tough call, but overall, we think more seniors would probably lean towards the looks of the CRV and be attracted to the capless fuel tank. So, winner, Honda CRV. For our next category, we're going to move from the outside to the inside and look at the interiors of each vehicle. Let's start with what each SUV has in common. First, the cabins of both vehicles are relatively easy to enter and exit and offer generous passenger space for their vehicle class in both the front and back rows. Both vehicles also offer attractive, comfortable, and modern cabins that most seniors will appreciate and enjoy. But beyond that, there are some differences. For instance, seniors will enjoy the convenience of push-button start across all trim levels in the CRV, while the RAV4 only offers it on higher trim levels. Also, seniors that want or need the warmth provided by heated front seats will get them regardless of trim level on the CRV, but with the RAV4, they are only available as an upgrade. Overall, we feel that the interior of the CRV is probably more to the liking of seniors than the interior of the RAV4, but once you factor in standard push button start and heated front seats, there's no question who the winner of this category is the Honda CRV. Seniors appreciate infotainment systems as much as anybody else, especially for navigation. An easy-to-use system with a large screen is a combination that is hard to beat. Fortunately for seniors, both the RAV4 and CRV offer relatively easy-to-use infotainment systems with sizable displays. The CRV offers a standard 7-inch display that bumps up to 9 inches on higher trim levels. Although Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard across all trim levels, seniors will only be able to enjoy the convenience of wireless connectivity on higher trim levels. The RAV4, on the other hand, comes standard with an 8-inch display that jumps to a very sizable 10.5 inches on higher trim levels. Unlike the CRV, the RAV4 offers wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto across all trim levels. This is not going to be a hard call. The larger screen and standard wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto clearly make the infotainment system in the RAV4 more appealing. Winner, Toyota RAV4. Seniors utilize the cargo space in SUVs just like anyone else, so this is an important category to seniors, and between these two SUVs, there's one clear winner. We'll start with the available cargo space behind the front row. The CRV offers a total of 76.5 cubic feet behind the front seats, while the RAV4 offers just 69.8, a difference of 6.7 cubic feet or nearly 10%. Behind the rear seats, however, is probably more important as this is the configuration that is most commonly used. And again, the CRV comes out on top with 39.3 cubic feet versus 37.5 in the RAV4. This is a much smaller difference of just 1.8 cubic feet or about 5%. With more space in both configurations, it's clear who the winner is. Honda CRV. No one wants to drive a wimpy car, including seniors. Seniors, just like anyone else, almost always prefer more power and better acceleration. And between these two SUVs, there's one that clearly has more power. 
Both the CRV and RAV4 are available in a gas-only version as well as a hybrid model. So we'll start with the gas-only models. The gas-only CRV is only available with an inline four-cylinder engine that produces 190 horsepower and is paired with a CVT transmission and comes standard as front-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive is available as an upgrade. The 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine found in the RAV4, however, is more powerful as it offers 203 horsepower and is mated with an eight-speed automatic transmission. As with the CRV, front-wheel drive is standard with the gas-only model, but all-wheel drive is available as an upgrade. Moving over to the hybrid models, both vehicles offer more power, as the CRV hybrid jumps up to 204 horsepower, while the RAV4 hybrid bumps up to 219. Beyond more horsepower, there's another key difference, which is that all-wheel drive is standard on the RAV4 hybrid, but it's optional on the base model CRV hybrid. Between more power in both the gas-only and hybrid models, and standard all-wheel drive on the RAV4 hybrid, it's clear who the winner is, Toyota RAV4. With gas prices as high as they are, and many seniors living on a fixed income, fuel economy is more important than ever. We'll start again with the gas-powered models. The gas-powered RAV4 offers 27 miles per gallon in the city, 35 on the highway and 30 overall, while the gas-powered CRV comes in at slightly more in the city at 28 miles per gallon and slightly less on the highway at 34, resulting in an identical combined fuel efficiency of 30 miles per gallon as the RAV4. As you would expect, fuel economy on the hybrid models jumps considerably, with the RAV4 hybrid seeing up to 41 miles per gallon in the city, 38 on the highway and 40 overall, while the CRV hybrid comes in as high as 43 in the city, 36 on the highway and 40 miles per gallon overall, which is the same as the RAV4 hybrid, with both vehicles in both the gas-only and hybrid models, seeing identical overall fuel economy ratings, this category clearly has no winner. In our next category, ride and comfort, there's not a lot separating these two vehicles, as seniors will find that each vehicle offers great visibility as well as a smooth, comfortable ride, as each vehicle's suspension handles the bumps and shocks along the road well. In addition, although not perfect, engine and road noise is kept to a minimum in each vehicle, making the cabin relatively quiet and peaceful. There's nothing to latch on to here, so that we can declare a winner. We hate to do this again, but we're going to call this category a tie. One category that seniors care deeply about is safety and reliability, and fortunately both vehicles are solid here too. But unlike the last two categories, there will be a winner. Safety ratings are still pending on 2023 models, but the CRV and the RAV4 both received top safety pick designations from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety for their 2022 models, as well as five stars from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. As for advanced safety features, both SUVs offer plenty, but the CRV offers more technologies as standard than the RAV4. In fact, every advanced safety feature, ranging from collision mitigation braking system to the traffic sign recognition system, is standard on the CRV across all trim levels. The RAV4 offers a comparable, but somewhat different suite of safety features, but some are available as option packages, while others are available on higher trim levels. As for reliability, we turn to consumer reports and again have to look at 2022 models where the CRV comes in with an above average predicted reliability score compared to the RAV4's average rating. As the CRV offers more standard advanced safety features and a higher reliability rating, this category isn't hard to call. Winner Honda CRV. We're down to our final category price, which to many seniors is crucial as they live on a fixed income. In this category, there's a clear winner because each vehicle has an entirely different pricing approach than the other. The pricing approach to the RAV4 is to offer a base model with an aggressive starting price of $27,575 and then offer a variety of trim levels and options packages so that the consumer can choose what they want and don't want. The downside, however, is that it also becomes more complicated. The Honda CRV, on the other hand, takes the other approach, 
There's only two trim levels to choose from for both the gas-only and hybrid models, with the least expensive starting at $31,110. This puts the CRV at a starting price of nearly $3,500 more than the starting price of the RAV4. And we should note, buyers of the base hybrid CRV will have to pay an extra $1,500 to get all-wheel drive. Whereas on the RAV4, it is standard. Of course, in addition to these prices, there are destination charges, taxes, and potentially other fees. Using just the starting price to compare these two vehicles, it's clear who the winner is, the Toyota RAV4. Okay, it's that time where we add up the wins and the losses and see which SUV comes out on top. So we had two ties, the first being in the fuel economy category and the other in the ride and comfort category. The Toyota RAV4 won three categories, including the infotainment, powertrain, and price categories, while the CRV won the exterior, interior, cargo space, and safety and reliability categories for a total of four. Therefore, we have a winner, the Honda CRV. Congratulations to Honda on the win. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.